Okay, hello everyone. This is Victor Momo from Excel Moments, and I'll start this video with a question. Have you ever seen your column headers A, B, C, all the way that we show as numbers? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, if you haven't, well, I'll show you how to do it, but you must understand that there's some implication to doing it, and I will also explain that to you briefly in this video. So, let me show you how do you change from you know, column headers to column numbers. So you go to Excel options. So you go to file, right? And then you see options at the bottom here. Typically, I use the shortcut Alt T O, which is like from Excel 2003, tools and options. You go to the formulas tab here, and you can see this R1, C1 reference style. Okay. R here for row, C for column. Once you check this, and you do OK, your column headers become numbers. So just do OK, right? Do you see that now? We now have, you know, column numbers and row numbers rather than column headers and row numbers. OK, but now what you notice is that the way your formulas will now be written would change. It will change from what we call the A1 notation to the R1C1 notation. So if you were in this cell, for example, and you said equals to, we all know that this cell here is supposed to be what cell A1. Normally, you will see it as equals to A1. That's what you're going to see. But now you see something that looks pretty strange, okay? But not strange, really. The R here stands for row. The C stands for column, okay? When you see a negative here for the row, it means that you're referencing a row above, okay? If it's positive, then you're referencing a row below. For the columns, if it's negative, you're referencing a column to the left. If it's positive, you're referencing a column to the right. If it doesn't have anything pretty much, then it means that you're in the same row, in the same column. I'll show you that briefly. So what does this mean if you want to break this down? It means that from the cell you are in, you are referencing a cell that is one row above. That's the meaning of R minus one, one row above. And as you can see, I'm on row two, referencing row one. And I am five columns to the left. Now, you now maybe appreciate why it changes to numbers in this notation. Because if I were dealing with A, B, C to H, it's difficult to say, okay, fine, H and A are seven alphabets apart, or A and W are, you know, maybe 17 alphabets apart. That's difficult, you know, in that sense. But with numbers, it's easy to see that I'm in column six, referencing column one. So that is minus five. So that's the meaning of this formula. R minus one, C minus five. Meaning reference a cell that is, you know, one row above and five columns to the left. Okay. Let's do one that would be kind of positive. So let me say here equals to just come to this cell. Now, what does this mean? This means here that I'm referencing a row that is, you know, a cell that is five rows below. And as you can see, I'm in row two, referencing row seven. So that's five. And a column you know, two columns to my right. I'm in column two and I'm referencing column four. So that's why you see R5C2. Okay. Now let's do something maybe in the same column. So look at this one. If you put it in the same column, let's say you just reference this. So what happens? The C doesn't have any numbers associated with it because you are in the same column, whereas the row says two, meaning that I reference two rows below, but in the same column. You could do the same thing for the row too. Stay in the same row, but a different column. Let's be here and reference this. So what do you see? The arrow doesn't have anything. So it's saying that I'm in the same row, you know, and um, I'm referencing a cell that is four columns to the left. Okay. So that's really how the R1C1 notation works. The funny thing is that whenever you even record a macro, you put a formula in the cell and record a macro, it records with the R1C1 notation. And sometimes you see it and you like, what is it saying exactly? Let me show you an example. I'm just going to click this cell. Let me go to the developer tab, right? And then do record macro. Just want to do a test and do OK. Now I want to record. What I want to just do is just to say equals to, you know, this. Okay. And I press enter. Okay. And it's going to record with the R1C1 notation. But somebody's going to be like, oh, that's because you are already, you know, in the R1C1 domain. So let me go back to Excel options. Let's go back and change it to the regular thing. So I'll record another macro. We'll see two macros. Okay, so do okay. So now I'm going to record another macro. Record macro. And you can see this one is macro 5. So I guess the other one should be macro 4. Do okay. Now let's just reference a cell in this formula. Equals to, let's use the normal. Okay, so you see the formula there is equals to B2. That's what we're saying there. And one thing you notice is that as you switch from the A1 to the R1C1 notation, your formulas don't, you know, break. They just change to show the way you know you expect it to. Here it's showing D2, but before it was showing some RC combination. So now let's go 
stop recording. Oh, okay, I didn't even stop. <laughs> so let's go to the Visual Basic editor and see what we recorded. Okay, so now look at the first one we recorded. This was the first one. You can see that in the formula, it did what? The RC notation. In the second one I recorded, it still did what? The RC notation. So either way, you know, VBA would always record with the RC notation. So sometimes it's important to understand, you know, how it works. But let's not forget where we started. I just wanted to show you that you could change, you know, from column headers to column numbers. But if you do that, your formulas now use the R1C1 notation. And just to give you, you know, some idea of how it works. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit the like button. You can also subscribe to the channel, Excel Moments. And please, you can leave comments and feedbacks in the comment section. That's much appreciated. So for now, I'm out.